Yo guys, <clears throat> what's up? It's time for the week two in the VDLV, and today we're playing Jackie and the Athens Alcrimi, I believe. Yes. Alright. Espathra expected. Mm, no Lycanroc. So I do have a speed advantage. I do think I want to. Oh, also no. Whatever its name is, Viv Vivian, I believe. It's French, French Pokemon. That's my. That's the Frenchest thing you'll ever hear me say. Also, Frenchest is not a word, but whatever. Okay, I'm uh, rambling. Uh, what to do? What to do? I think I want to lead the Jugulus here. Possibly. I think I want Scream Tails. I think I want Sand Goose. Okay, I don't really I don't know what I'm doing. So terror types we have Fairy First Bathra, which is expected. Hydrogon is fire. That's actually super good. He powder is rock, that's also when I say super good, I mean it's super good for my uh, Haxorus that I didn't bring. Glalie, Earth is Ice, Earthworm is Ghost, Rotom is Electric. Okay. I will... Is Terra Steel. I think I'll just put up a light screen. Because I feel like this pathway gonna okay it doesn't protect. So it's maybe it's not speed boost. That's a lot of... that's big damage. Okay, it is speed boost on this path, huh? Please kill. Oh, so close. Feather dance. Can okay, nasty block Rotom. Yeah, this isn't great. I do think I need to go into this, maybe. He wants it coming? I don't know. I need Sanglis is probably my win come here. Also, my Tailwind is almost done, I'm pretty sure. At least this path goes down. Goes into a important slot. I do live, and I do get my citrus berry. It's tailwind out now, though. I do have one more turn of tailwind. That could actually be pretty, pretty huge. So now the hydragon is terra fairy. I 
Minter Ice. I think I'm gonna Ice Wind here actually. And. Yeah, might as well just Fire Blast. It's probably gonna tear here for sure. If I'm gonna win here, I definitely need Sangus to pull through. That's okay damage. Oh, it kills the Rotom. Alright, I can live with that. Burns my screen tail. Now we will see what the last Pokemon is. It might actually be. This is interesting because I have quite a bit of speed investment. Oh, it is a Powdown. That puts me in a very interesting position. If my water hits here, I'm gonna be doing some big damage. Of course. Okay, the hit it would stay for that. Avoids. Okay, Vaporeon goes down. This is gonna be close. Light screen is off, but I do have another turn. Not sure who to go for here. It has to be the Hydro Hydrogon, right? Mm. I I should I am the fastest thing, but I'm also very very frail. This Pokemon is not very bulky at all. Actually, the correct place probably to go for. But this is like super strong at least. I don't think I win this. No way this one it chaos, right? Oh, so close. Alright, GG. The powder is so bulky. It was a close game. I don't think th that Jugulus is actually that necessary for me though. Because I feel like that was the mom that was wasted the most. Didn't really do anything.
I'm gonna take a different route here though. I do think the hack service is looking very good. Because of Mold Breaker. See if they lead the same lead that they did last time, or well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Earthworm Rotom, it's fine, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. In fact, it's freaking perfect, if I'm honest. I think I'll just go for the Earthquake and while I do that I think I might Do I put up a light screen? Yeah, I think so Maybe I should put up a Reflect actually But this should be really good here because Mo Breaker Myself, of course, that's not that is not good, not good at all. I'm just gonna go for earthquake again, and I think this I think I need to go for the fire blast because a grass move is gonna kill me here. Oh no, Rotom is... It can't be... No, it can't be Terra or Rotom. It's Earthworm, okay. It's fine. So at least I know the Rotom goes down here. Why is the why is the game so so freaking laggy? That's annoying. Iron defense. Okay. Not too sure about that one, if I'm gonna be honest. In comes a spathra. And I'm just gonna keep EQing. And I think I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go into the port in here. Because I can haste the... Whatever it's doing with Earthworm. To just double protect. It's fine. Ooh, I should have brought in Golden Go here instead on the balloon. Because now I'm gonna take some damage on my Vaporeon. Actually, probably quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that's not good at all.
and I don't have protect. a roll. Yeah, now I think I just lose. Fuck. Yeah, my tactic didn't quite work out. Oh, I think that was a misplay. I think that might have been a huge misplay. Maybe I do have a chance after all. Is it... who is it in the back? Does that protect? Yeah, it does. So my thing goes down here. really close again. I think I need to go for the Shadow Ball. Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, he forgot it, but he forgot about the Balloon! Oh no! I mean, oh yeah for me, but oh no for them. Is it the same chance to drop the... Yeah, I think so. Oh, I get the crit. That means I win this. Oh, I'm sorry about that crit. To be honest... The real misplay was forgetting about the balloon. I don't think Protect can save you here. I think Make It Rain will still kill, because it's, it's just that strong. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong, but I think it should should be enough to finish it off. Yeah. All right, so we take it to game three. Wow. I am surprised. very surprised.
we've been given a golden opportunity. So what do I want to do this time though? That's uh... That is the question. I, I really like Golden Go, to be honest. It's just so good, but uh... Yeah, I think this is gonna have to be it. I'm thinking they lead us path through. I'm thinking I faint, because I haven't revealed that yet, because they're probably gonna protect when they see my Iron Jugulus. If they even bring it as a lead. I don't know why I'm thinking they will, but uh, they do not. Clearly wrote them. I feel like towering here is, is good. I don't know why, but I just I'm just feeling it. turn of Moody for me. Rotom is electric. I can just do that and I can just go for a flash cannon into the Galele slot here. Rotom does protect. I think they should kill. Unless it's made by Sash, I guess. No, it's not. Okay, good. Clayless out of the way. Hippo comes in. <coughs> Hippo starts out for Bach. There, say earthquake coming here. This should kill the Rotom. Yes, is Sangus going to die here? Thing. So I'm definitely going to faint. And I, because I'm 
definitely feel like it's just gonna protect both there. Yep. Does this... Oh, this means it kills the Espathra as well. Oh, yes! That is beautiful. I'm a genius. If you can't tell, I'm aiming ironic, because I definitely didn't think about that one. I mean, I knew, I knew the... I knew the faint would let Dazzling Gleam hit, but I... I didn't think that far ahead. From this position, I don't really think I can lose. Well, I'm gonna take some credit for actually bringing Faint, though. Because, uh, I did it specifically because I knew Spathra would be, a uh, would come and it likes to protect with the speed boost. But I'm um, yeah, that game too was rough. I'm so f I feel real bad for the opponent. I feel uh, I've forgotten about air balloons too. It just sucks when it happens. And not only that, but I also got the crit that I really needed. Well, it was either a crit or a special defense drop, and I got the crit, so... Yeah. Real unfortunate for the opponent to get very punished. That, yeah, that's the game. GG's to Jackie, though. I'm sure you, you'll be able to bounce back. Uh, and yeah, with those words, I'll be back next week with another battle. We're now 2-0 in the V-Division, who would have thought? Well, to be fair, I have gone 2-0 in other tournaments and then lost like 7 battles in a row, so... Let's just hope that doesn't happen again. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I will be back. Bye!